Welcome back to Algebra 1. Here we're going to learn how to evaluate algebraic expressions. So by now you should know that when you evaluate something in algebra, it just means you simplify it or you solve it or you perform the math associated with it. In the term expression, it basically just means uh, doing math operations. Okay, And since you have the word algebraic here, it means we're going to be doing math operations involving variables. So basically it means variables and numbers. Um, with math operations. So in other words, we're going to have uh, we're going to have addition, subtraction, multiplication. Of course, we don't use x for multiply in algebra, but I'm writing it here just to show you what it is. Uh, and we don't even use that division symbol too much in algebra either. Now keep in mind when we get into more complicated expressions later we'll have squares, you know, we'll talk about exponents and squares and square roots and all kinds of other things. But for now, this is what we mean when we say algebraic expressions. So what would be an example of a super, super simple algebraic expression? First of all, I'm going to take this opportunity to show you we don't use the letter x for multiplying in general in algebra. I've mentioned this so many times. You, you know, you're, you've heard it so many times already. So for instance, if we wanted to multiply the number 4 times the variable a, we just write it as 4a, okay, uh, 4a. We don't put the letter x in there because if we did, it would look like 4 times x times a. So this means 4 times a, which is exactly the same thing as writing 4 times a like this. This is totally fine to do as well, which is exactly the same thing as writing 4 with a parentheses a here. Notice there's no uh, dot here or anything. The 4 is sitting right outside the parentheses with a on the inside. This means 4 times a. Um, and if you really want to go crazy, you could put the 4 inside of parentheses and put the a right there. Notice there's no uh, multiplication symbol here either. When you write things next to each other, right next to each other like this in algebra, it means multiplication. So you'll see this quite often. You'll see this sometimes. Um, but this here is most common when you have a letter and a number. Uh, you'll just put them right next to each other like that. So that's the idea of what, uh, in general, what an algebraic expression is. Now, when you evaluate an algebraic expression, what does that mean? It means typically what you're going to do is you're going to put a value in here for A and then calculate the answer. That means evaluate it, okay, to calculate it. That's what it means in algebra. So let's go on and do that. Uh, let's evaluate the following uh, expressions if x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, and z is equal to 4. So we, we're given the value of three variables. x is equal to 2, y is equal to 3, z is equal to 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to evaluate the following expressions. Very simple expression first, 5x, which means 5 times x. How are we going to evaluate that expression? Um, well, we know that x is equal to 2. It's written right here. So all we do is take that 2 and stick it right in there and, and then calculate it, which means evaluate it. So here, here we'll have 5 times 2. Notice that when I put the number in there, I'm sticking the dot here. I'm putting that dot here when I stick the numbers in there because if I just didn't write the dot, it would be 5 next to a 2. It would look like 52. Here it's clear I'm multiplying, but when you're writing numbers that are multiplied, you, you need to put that dot there. So 5 times 2 is just going to be equal to 10. Very simple. All right. What if we're going to do uh, or evaluate the following expression? Change colors a little bit. Uh, what if we want to evaluate the following expression? Um, x times y. Notice that we know that they're multiplied together because they're just written right next to each other with no symbol in between them. So we know they're multiplied together. How do we evaluate this expression? Well, we know that x is equal to 2, so we'll put it in there for that. We know it's multiplied, and y is equal to 3. It's written right here. y is equal to 3. Um, and so the 3 goes here. And then you can evaluate it. 2 times 3, you all know, is equal to 6. And that's the final answer of that guy. All right, let's go ahead and do another one. We'll do a couple of additional uh, guys here. What if we have the following algebraic expression? 4x in parentheses, plus 7. Now what, is the, what do the parentheses mean again? The parentheses just mean you have to do what's inside of there first. It's forcing you to do that first. We'll talk a lot more about why that works out later and why that's important, but for now just know that you do that first. 
So you open these parentheses here, and you have the number 4 times x, but we already know that x is equal to 2 from right there, so we stick the 2 in there. We close the parentheses. The plus 7, we haven't touched it because we can't do that yet. All right. Now, inside these parentheses, 4 times 2 is 8, and then we have the plus 7 on the outside, and now that we've done the math, we can mentally drop this parenthesis just like we were doing in the last section. Uh, 8 plus 7, uh, you all know, is going to be 15. So that's the final answer. That's, if, that's the evaluation of this expression, this algebraic expression. And we'll do one more here just to get some practice. What if we have 2x uh, inside of parentheses plus 2z, like this? Well, we have to do what's inside the parentheses first. That means we have to do this, and we have to do this before we ever do anything with this addition out here. So we open the parentheses up, 2 times x, but x is equal to 2, right? x is equal to 2. And then over here, we're going to have, uh, inside of here, we'll have 2 times z, and we already know that z is equal to 4, so we're just going to stick that in there, z, equal, z is equal to 4. And now we have to do what's inside of these parentheses first. So we open up the first set of parentheses. 2 times 2 is 4. The plus, we just leave it there. We open the next set of parentheses. 4 times 2, or 2 times 4 is 8. Now that we've done the inside of the parentheses first, we finally can do this addition. We can mentally uh, just disregard these parentheses. 4 plus 8, as you all know, is going to be equal to 12. And that's the answer. So you see, when you evaluate these algebraic expressions, all you're doing is you're taking the value of the variable that you have and you're substituting it in to every place you see where it's at. And then after you substitute it in, you just calculate the answer in exactly the way we did it in the last section when we were evaluating these numerical expressions. So you see there's, there's just one extra step. You take the value of the variables, you stick them in, and then after that, you just calculate things just as, as we have been doing. So follow me on to the next section. We'll get a little bit more practice with evaluating these algebraic expressions to give you more confidence in your skills.